Debian 13 review. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss the newest release from one of the most dependable Linux distributions out there, Debian. So get ready, there's a lot to cover. So let's talk about installation. Debian 13's Alpha 1 installer offers a seamless setup experience. It now includes support for RISC 5 64-bit systems and comes bundled with the Linux 6.12 LTS kernel. Power users will appreciate the flexibility through newcomers might find the setup a bit technical. The desktop environment is a visual treat. You can choose between GNOME 48, which brings a sleek and modern interface, or KDE Plasma 6, known for its depth of customization and performance. Whether you like simplicity or control, Debian's got you covered. So if you want software availability, which is absolutely massive, with over 59,000 packages in the archive, including more than 11,000 brand new additions, there's no shortage of tools, apps, and utilities. A whopping 72% of the software stack has been refreshed, giving users a more polished and updated experience. Developers, a year in for a treat, Debian 13 ships with Python 3.11 and the powerful GCC 14 compiler, offering a rock-solid foundation for coding, testing, and deployment. Performance-wise, it's excellent. Debian 13 remains reliable and responsive, whether you're running it on a desktop, a server, or an IoT device, thanks to its light system requirements. Even aging hardware can still run like a champ. Security gets a boost too, with app armor enabled and non-free firmware included by default. You get a more secure out-of-the-box experience without extra hassle. So now what about the caveats? Some packages like YTTIP or VirtualBox might lag slightly behind upstream versions. Also, rolling back kernel versions isn't as seamless as what you get in Arc's Pacman system. And if you're using the stable branch, don't expect cutting edge updates right away. Still, if you value stability without sacrificing versatility, Debian 13 hits the sweet spot. It's not a bleeding edge distro like Arc, but for use cases like home labs, enterprise grade servers, or just reliable daily driver, Debian 13 is seriously impressive. So, the final release is expected sometime in mid 2025, so keep an eye out. So, what's your take on Debian 13? Let us know in the comment below. So that's it for today's video. If you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.